There's Hesser. Backdoor cut. Brugman swung over to Roderick. Hesser. Just going to go all the way to the bucket. Nice touch nice. at the rim. Nice little floater. The defense was there, but when you release the ball before they can truly close out, that's a heads-up play. Big play from the senior. Back and forth we go. 19 all now. Endover steps out back iron. You see there, Hester never left the lane. Uh, did her job on the defensive end and just stayed in the lane for the rebound. Gafford, and she knocks down a jumper. The girls go up by two. That can be her bread and butter someday. Right now, she's more of a traditional post player, but we know she can step out and hit the long one. Here's Plot looking for Vandiver. Off her hands, and Gafford comes up with the steal. And those are the turnovers that Emporia State this year gets in trouble with because those are live ball turnovers, just the careless passes. Five turnovers for the Hornets so far. 5.15 to play. In the first half, Gorillas 21, Hornets 19, Net Reed all the way to the bucket, slithering her way, can't get it, and they gets the offensive rebound, misses that one as well. I don't know, I, I can't speak for Coach Ford, but I don't think those are really terrible shots. Those are decent looks. Those go down most of the time. Net Reed doing a good job being aggressive. Force jumper goes all the way around the rim and down for Kramer. Zach, we've been talking about the rebounding. Yeah. Gorillas are leading. 18-17, and they have 10 offensive rebounds compared to seven for Emporia State. If you track the rebounding throughout the game as I've been doing, it was 9-2 at the first media timeout, 15-11 at the second media timeout. It's no surprise that the game is this close now. Well, that, and that's what Pitt State had to do. Out of bounds it goes, it'll go to Emporia State. Timeout on the floor, media timeout with four and a half minutes just over that remaining in the first half. We are all square at 21 here from John Lance Arena. We'll take this time out as well. You're watching Gorilla Basketball. Here's Barnwell. Now Moten, 14 on the shot clock. Pick and roll, Gafford comes away with a steal. What a night for Kylie Gafford. Defensive MVP, definitely. Steals, blocks, she's doing it all. Here's Geronimus. Gafford with four blocks and two steals. And not to mention how many tough rebounds. We're going to get a foul before Geronimo's put the shot up. It doesn't matter because it's going to be a one and one. Ninth team foul on Emporia State. Foul is going to go on Flott. That's her third. And here comes Marissa Quick yeah. checking in. Checking in for Emporia, number 35, Marissa Quick, the number 20, Ashton Bruner. And Bruner into the game as well. I would not be surprised if Marissa Quick has no part defensively of Lizzie Geronimus. Not with three minutes to go. And, and I know star players get treatment, but eat both ways. But right now, they're going to try to hide her. She's in to get rebounds and to score on the other end. Geronimus hits the front end of the one and one, all square. 50 50, 3 0 9. And two for two for Geronimus. 17 points for the senior from Lenexa in the biggest game of her career in the regular season. Moten, floater in the lane, no good. Gafford rips down the rebound. And she's getting a standing ovation. Gafford has been unbelievable down low. Six boards, four blocks for the junior from Overland Park. Geronimus, Brugman. Good! Timeout Emporia, 54-50. Gorillas go up by four, their largest lead of the game, and a friendly roll from the rims here at Wetzel Court for Kathy Brugman. Vandiver guarding the All-American. Now Gafford, Hesser, 11 on the shot clock. Hesser uses the screen all the way to the bucket. Hesser amongst the trees. Vandiver got a piece of that shot, and Moten's off and running for Emporia. Under four to play now. Still 56-56. We have not had a bucket yet here in overtime. Here's Lackey. Moten uses the Vandiver screen. Real patience here from Emporia. Lackey, good shot in the middle of the lane. Buries it. And that's about as good a shot I think there's been all game. Really nice look from Emporia. That was a nice offensive possession. Wide open five-footer. Hornets lead by two. Three and a half to play here in overtime. 
right yes, now. Sir. Pitt State slow on the offensive end. They're not, not running. They're fatigued a little bit. Gafford short corner jumper. Missed it. Roderick with a nice rebound down low. Goes up and gets fouled. Boy, Haley Roderick wow. had to go Odell Beckham Jr. to corral that rebound. I mean, Randy Moss is jealous of that kid. Wow. We talked about, we talked about those shot passes. That almost was one for Gafford from Roderick. Check out the catch here from Roderick. Nice position. The one-hander bring it in and then the wherewithal to just go straight up towards the bucket and now two free throws here for the senior from Webb City. <laughs> she earned that one. Her locker comes into the game for Hesser and for Emporia Bruner checks in for Flott. Now Roderick. Rolls off the second one. Pitt State at that point in time had been near 90% from the free throw line. And a foul is going to be called. It's going to be two free throws now for Emporia. Her locker gets called for. That's her first. 